What's going on people? I go by the name of Mr. Silver. Uh, my involvement with urban development um, just started over probably a year now or two years now. They've been helping me out with like my single releases and stuff, helping me with funding and stuff as well. So that's been really great in trying to like, enhance my career and take it further from where it was already. Um, yeah, it's, just, it's been a great experience already and hopefully we can do better in the future as well. I'm one half of the mask, my name's Levere and we're a producer duo, but also a collective. I think, I think urban development is really important because urban development, from, from my experience of urban development, it's been able to give people a real platform and it's been able to really help the people that need the help. And so that's people in the inner cities that don't maybe have access or don't have the finances or the resources in order to do things and to progress their careers and music and the arts in the way that maybe other people may be able to do that if they had those kind of resources. But Urban Development provides that kind of platform and that kind of base to really help you launch your career as a person coming up in the urban and in the inner cities. I think people can expect from my Urban Development Showcase it's a generally good show. Um, I like the idea of people that have never heard of me before being in the crowd and walking away and saying, wow, that was great, do you know what I mean? And for me, that's, I always think of how people that have never heard of me enjoy the show more so than people that have, because they're, they're going to like it anyway. <laughs> My live show ritual usually involves drinking and laughing with my team because we're all friends and it just kind of keeps the nerve and the edge down so we can just go out there and perform. It's pretty much the same every time we just chill until we have to go do it and then all of a sudden the energy goes from like zero to a million. So I try to envision it as like my biggest show ever each and every time and try to give it the best shot I can really and truly each and every time that's I prepare. Then I just touch the microphone and just let off the energies that's been given to me, man. So yeah. Well, to be honest with you, the idle reaction for, for a fan from my perspective is for them to just really have an emotional response. And that can, that as an individual to them, it's not something that I could probably do for them because that would be me kind of contriving it. It has to be their original, authentic, emotional response to the music because I believe that that's what it is. Music is communication and that's what we hope to do. We hope to communicate our emotions through music and for you to be affected by it. So it has to be your authentic response. I can't even lie. I'd want them to sing to the words. I'd want them to be like, bah, bah, bah. are you mad? This guy's sick. You get me? Um, at the same time, I want to get them to be, yo, cheese, rhythm, you see me? So it's just to create good vibrations. That's what I want to see from my fans. Like, I want them to be happy. That's the thing in life, you know what I mean? Not um, Music helps people to escape, so I want them to escape and feel happy. The perfect fan reaction to my music is like, it's literally this. Who is this guy? I'm gonna tell my mum about it. I'm gonna let him impregnate my mum. <laughs> <laughs>